Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today uh, you may, um, uh, this is an answer to our challenge from last Friday. Uh, so you may have checked out our uh, video before regarding how to make a clustered stacked column chart. You can also do this with bar charts and we had a user that had posted this question saying, um, all right, uh, I know how to make your clustered stacked bar chart or column chart now, uh, but what I'd like to do is this is what I end up creating. I would like something more like this, a little more streamlined so that uh, the stacked clustered columns um, are closer together. Now you can say, well, why doesn't you just come over in here, pr click on one of the series, press Control One, and then uh, you know move this down pretty low. Um, and it just ends up filling up the screen. They just munge together after a while. And uh, this is our data set over here. But um, so I wanted to set out a challenge and say, how could we make this final chart um, and uh, make it look a little bit more like what the user's wanting, pushing these together, basically closing the gap uh, between these two columns, but not expanding out across the entire range. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you how we go about doing that. So as you can see here, I've got our data set and I've also got what our final chart should look like. So the first thing you want to do is uh, come over and get your data set. And what we want to do is this January and February are both merged cells and we don't want these to be merged. Let's just unmerge those. So I'm going to click on them and do an unmerge. Now, um, what I want to do is I want to insert one column over here to the left of January. I want to insert two columns in between January and February and um, then we have what we need. Now, uh, the only thing is, is I do need to move January and February over just one cell. So I've highlighted that range and I'm just dragging and dropping one to the left. So now you see January and February are in the right spots. Uh, let me clear out some of these borders so it doesn't confuse you as much. Um, and then we'll make the data a little bit more. So uh, what we want to do is we want to put in, this is basically going to be a pad cell. This is going to be a pad cell. This is going to create some padding and ultimately we're going to have some padding out here on the very end. Now um, what we want to then do is just highlight from A1 all the way over to I6. We're going to go up to the insert ribbon. Then from the insert ribbon we are going to press the insert column chart up here and you see there is the stacked column chart here in the center. Uh, let's go ahead and move that over just a little bit uh, out of the way of this other chart that I put here for reference. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Okay, so first things first is um, the chart that is our reference, it actually uh, is has the legend over on the far right. So I'm going to click on this and uh, the chart. I'm going to go up to my design ribbon. I'm going to click on the add chart element and I'm going to choose the legend menu. And I want this to be over to the right. So that's going to give us a little bit of squeezing to the left. Ultimately, if you didn't want to do that, you could just squeeze the entire plot area of the chart and get a little closer as well. Uh, so that you get the desired effect. So um, that's one of the steps. Uh, you can also shrink that one. Um, as you can see, our chart is pretty close. We can just select one of the data series and hit Control-1. It brings up our format data series uh, ribbon. And what we want to do is we just want to change this gap width here to about 10%. Hit Enter. And now you can see we have um, pretty much the same representation as we had from the previous chart. Uh, you just want to maybe go up here and delete these pads because we don't want those to actually show. They're just uh, so that you can learn. So there's a padding. There's a zero column here. There's a zero column here. And then likewise along this. Um, also uh, putting in that legend helps. Uh, it doesn't make it look as squished. Um, or alternately, you could select the chart area. Let's see if that's what it's on, the plot area. Uh, and you could ultimately shrink it down as well um, to get them to be a little bit closer. Now, one final thing that you'll notice here is when I deleted this pad cell um, out here on the far right, notice that my tick marks are coming down and it's not including that for February. So to include that for February, you want to go back to your data set. And where that pad was, you just want to put in a space. Excel will move February and center it more, thinking that that's actually got some, uh, that is not a new series, it's still a part of February, and the tick mark is gone. So as you can see, let me undo that space, 
there's that tick mark in February. Let me redo the space and it will push it out there. All right, so hopefully you learned something here today on how to uh, get your charts to be a little bit more flexible in Excel, uh, especially when you are making a clustered stacked column chart. Once again, this is Steve Equals True at Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the next video delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.